Pisces, this is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot, and we are about to do a reading for your sign today. If you have Pisces anywhere in your chart, in any nook or cranny on any planet that you may have in your natal chart, this reading very well may resonate for you. If it does, that's awesome, because that means that the cards are speaking directly to you. If it doesn't, that's okay, too. It just means that this isn't for you, and it's not your reading today. Crosswatch the other elements of your chart because Pisces, your sun sign, is how you receive information. Your moon sign is how you feel about your world. It's how you process your information. Your ascending sign is how you put that information back out into the world. There's a link in the box below where you can check out your uh, natal chart and um, give it a good go because it's extremely, extremely interesting. You can cross-watch the other signs in your chart to get a more complete and comprehensive view of the things that are going on in not only your life, but the life of the person that you may be cross-watching for. This is a really short and to-the-point reading today, Pisces. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at TaurusStarTarot.com. 40 bucks, we'll hook it up. Yes, I said 40 bucks. I get a lot of flack because my YouTube readings, my personal readings for people on YouTube, but no, my personal readings for subscribers to my channel on YouTube, yeah, um, are so cheap. And it's just the way, it's just my way of giving back, right? It's just my way of giving back. Maybe you haven't ever had a personal reading before and you don't want to risk 100, 200 bucks on a reading. You can hit me up at TaurusStarTarot.com and we'll do it just for you, just for your situation for 40 bucks, okay? What else? Uh, stay tuned after this video for a quick public service announcement about why the hell ads are all over the YouTube videos that you watch. Maybe something that you don't know, you may already know it, but either way, it's a PSA at the end of this video and you can check that out. Okay, so um, this is a short straight to the point kind of reading for you today, Pisces. Um, I'm a little disappointed because I like, you know, I like to dive in and get deep, but um, there's, it's just the message that the cards have for whoever, whatever Pisces um, that I am connecting to today. So let's just dive right in and see what we have, okay? You enter this reading with the Prince of Wands. You enter, enter this reading with an, an, an exorbitant amount of excitement and enthusiasm running through your blood, Pisces, because you have manifested a brand new inspired beginning that has a ton of creative ability and potential, right? Manifestation. Did you just think about this? Did you just wish for it? Did you just maybe imagine yourself doing it? Well, yeah, probably. But I want to point out that manifestation is not about just simply thinking about what it is that you want to do. If you look at this card right here, this magician, in any deck, okay, not just this deck. This is the Tarot Illuminati, by the way. I love this deck. But this this magician, he has all four elements all four tools on the table in front of him, and he's using all of them, right? So it's not just about thinking. It's not about thinking it into existence with the sword, right? It's about putting in the legwork with the pentacles. It's about assuming it in your feels with the cups. And it's about having the inspiration to actually do all of this, right? Because none of these three would happen without the inspiration. So the inspiration is the trigger, right? Then you think about it. You become it. You see yourself doing it. You put in the legwork. You go to meetups. You network with people. You put out resumes. You you talk to people. You maybe get a mentor, right? The, the Pentacles is all about putting in the work that needs to that mean needs to be done in order to manifest something. The Cups is all about bringing it inside and making whatever it is that you're trying to manifest a part of your daily life, a part of the fabric of your being, right? Well, my friend, you have done that. You have manifested with thoughts, with feelings, with inspiration, and with hard work, a brand new inspired beginning in your life. 
This brand new inspired beginning beginning fills you with joy. Joy, celebration, peace, harmony, just good times, right? Good feelings and good times. The star card comes in and says that you have a sense of hope and faith and renewal and purpose in your life. Two of Pentacles says you have balance and prioritization in your life. Ace of Swords says that you have spoken a truth to yourself. You have absolute mental clarity about where you're going and what you're going to do when you get there. Nine of Pentacles comes in and says that you have a sense of absolute self-sufficiency. This is an independent person right here. A sense of self-sufficiency and, and a, 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 a just a sense of gratitude, right? A sense of gratitude that you've gone through whatever you went through to get here and you're grateful and you're self-sufficient. You have absolute mental clarity, balance and stability in your life, hope, faith, purpose, and renewal in your future. You have feelings of joy and celebration. You've manifested a brand new, passionate, inspired beginning in your life, and you're just filled with excitement and enthusiasm about it. What when, when I said that you have a sense of gratefulness, right? Because of what you went through to get here, what did you go through to get here? Well, the cards are about to tell us, right? The cards are about to tell us. What did you have to go through to get here, Pisces? What, what did you have to go through? Well, you went through a lot of, of sitting down with your intuition, and combing through your subconscious mind, right? You probably had a lot of anxiety on your way to this beautiful, to this beautiful sequence of cards that we have right here with the moon card. The five of swords comes in and says that you took a good hard look at some mind games that were going on in a relationship in your life. There was the five of swords is, is all about conflict and tension, tension, not intention, conflict and tension, loss, defeat. Somebody had a win at all costs, be win at all costs attitude, a tit for tat, some mind games, seven of cups. When you're sitting in this moon energy and you are deciphering what's really going on you you came to the conclusion with the seven of cups that this was a huge illusion that this whole relationship thing right here could be love could be life could be work could be your mama right doesn't matter but you came to the conclusion that this relationship that you had right here was a big fat illusion a big fat illusion, Pisces, right? That it was wishful thinking. It was a fantasy because what you thought this relationship was is not what it was at all. What happened? Actually, this hierophant came first. In regards to what you thought was a committed relationship, a serious relationship, was in fact not at all because somebody broke your heart. Somebody broke your heart. But on the flip side, Pisces, it could have been you breaking somebody's heart after going through this moon energy, seeing things for what they really were, an illusion, wishful thinking, in regards to a, a serious commitment in your life, you may very well have broke somebody's heart because you said, you know what? Uh-uh. Nope. This isn't the way things are supposed to be. This isn't how a healthy relationship is. This is not what I want to be doing with my life. And you made a judgment call. You made a decision that is changing the trajectory of your life. You formulated a thought pattern, 
and you made a decision to leave somebody out in the cold, but to definitely leave this conflict out in the cold, right? You made a judgment call to walk away and leave the conflict and the, 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 the illusion and the mind games out in the cold. Pisces ain't doing that anymore. Because you contemplated, right? In the moon card, you contemplated and reevaluated your life. And you came to the conclusion that this relationship or this situationship that you were in right here was not bringing you success. You've contemplated and reevaluated what you want out of life, and it's not this. What you want out of life is the Six of Wands. You want victory and progress and self-confidence. And lo and behold, Pisces, you got it. You got it because now, baby, you are about to start a brand new journey and a brand new beginning in your life. Brand new beginning, brand new journey. Because there was a tower moment. This was your tower moment where you, you stood back, you had an epiphany, and you looked around and you said, well, by golly, by golly, Jiminy Cricket, this is not what I want for my life. And you walked away, you left it out in the cold, you turned your back on the conflict, and now the world is just bursting open for you. This tower moment, this right here, was absolute clarity about how you want to live your life or how you don't want to live your life. Seven of Wands comes in and says, you do not want to live your life feeling guarded, feeling protective, self-protective, challenged, right? You, you don't want to live your life like that. But I tell you what, this is a dual, dual sided card because now you got your fight back. Now you got your swim back, Pisces. You got your swim back, right? Sun card comes in and said, you see, you, and says, you see everything crystal freaking clear, crystal clear clear and you know what's going to make you happy and you're going to pursue it. King of Cups comes in and talks about having absolute emotional balance and security, emotional balance and control. And this is not, you are shedding no tears over this, Pisces. You're not. You're not shedding any tears over this. Not anymore. You may have, but you're not anymore. Because now you have enthusiasm and excitement because you've manifested a brand new inspired beginning in your life that fills you with joy and satisfaction, community, creativity, right? You see hope, faith, purpose, and renewal on the horizon for your life. You have balance and priorities. You have absolute truth within yourself about where you're going, how you're going to get there, and what you're going to do when you do. Nine of Pentacles, gratitude and absolute self-sufficiency. It's a beautiful reading, Pisces. It really is. It's short, but it's poignant. It's poignant. It has a lot of power to it. You have found your swim, my friend, and you are swimming away from all of this heartbreak and this bullshit and the mind games and, and, and the illusions, the things that you thought were that are not, you're, mm -mm, you're just, you're leaving it where it is and you're swimming away, Pisces. Congratulations. That's awesome. All right. Let's talk about this public service announcement now. If this is where we part ways, my friends, this is your reading. I do hope that it gave you some hope, some inspiration, some clarity, some confirmation, some power, right? And um, we will catch you on the flip side. Namaste. So now here's my public service announcement, right? Because there's ads all over YouTube. I watch YouTube too all the time for all different kinds of things, right? All the time. Actually, I don't even watch TV, honestly. I don't watch TV. I, I sit at the end of the day at either at my desk or in my bed, and I uh, I watch YouTube. 
and the ads, they can be annoying. They really can. I will be the first one to admit that. You've probably seen one, maybe even two during this whole reading, and they are annoying. But here's the scoop on the ads, okay, Pisces? Let me point this around so I can see it. Okay, here's the scoop on the ads, Pisces. So when you see ads on YouTube, it means that that YouTube channel has been monetized. When I first started this channel, I had no idea that you could get paid for doing this. Then I got an email from YouTube that said that they would actually pay me to allow ads on my videos. And I was like, well, hell yeah, right? I mean, yeah, who? Yeah, sure. So when a creator, and that's what YouTube calls, calls people who, who post videos, right? Creators. When a creator reaches a certain amount of views and subscribers, YouTube will allow you to monetize your channel. The creator of that video gets paid on average about 10 to 25 cents for every ad that you see. So instead of getting irritated with the ads, reset your mind frame to understand that in exchange for getting free tarot card readings or information or entertainment or whatever it is that you're watching on YouTube, the creator of that video is getting paid between 10 cents and 25 cents by YouTube every time you see that ad. So know that your three seconds of time until you can actually skip the ad is a completely fair exchange for the free information or entertainment that you're receiving. If there are not ads on the, on the videos that you're watching, either the channel is not eligible to be monetized or the videos contain previously copyrighted material. Some creators choose not to monetize their channels because they use the channel to create income in other ways, to create a following and to sell products or services. So I don't know about other creators on YouTube, but it takes me about two hours to put up a single video from prep to publication. And I want to preface that by our preface that I want to, um, I want to say that a 30 minute video, okay, this little short reading that the cards, this was the message, right? This little short reading right here, this doesn't take me two hours. This will take me an hour from the, from my prep time, my meditation, my contemplation, the cards, interpreting the reading, loading it up, it, it, taking it from my camera to my computer, from my computer to YouTube and creating the little, you know, the little, um, the little black thing that says, you know, a Pisces in with the title and stuff on it and doing all of that, that will take me about an hour. If it's, if it's anything over 30 minutes, it takes definitely at least two hours to upload videos. So um, from prep to publication, it takes about two hours for each video. That's 24 hours for all 12 zodiac signs if I'm doing a big, huge read, right? So getting a small payout from YouTube is really nice. And that's just once, right? Multiply that by two and three and four and five and six times. You know, sometimes people put out videos constantly and it, it takes some time. It really does. So anyway, um, that's my spiel on the ads on YouTube. So instead of being irritated and disgruntled, um, just wait your three seconds and then, and then skip the ad because it really helps the creator of the video that you're watching. And hey, if you really love the creator of the video that you're watching, you'll let those ads play through because the longer the ads play, the more um, change YouTube will throw our way. Okay, there you go, my friends. I hope that that gave you maybe some information that you didn't know before. Namaste.